Welcome back to Interbike TV and good morning Interbike. Day three of Interbike 2012, the International Interbike Expo. Welcome to Good Morning Interbike. My name is David, I'm your host, and we're here for several hours with movers and shakers and industry leaders in the bike industry. Thanks for joining us at interbike.com slash live. Make sure you tell your friends and social media followers to join the fun here at interbike.com slash live. I'm joined this morning by some folks from Interbike. We've got Justin Gottlieb. Justin, what is your title? I'm the, uh, the Director of Communications and PR. See, this is why I didn't do it. It's too much of a mouthful for me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Lee Donovan. Lee, now you are new with Interbike. How long have you been with the company? Uh, my, I started on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Awesome, and what's your title? Um, I, I'm a salesperson. What is my title over there? I have no idea. But for they call them, um, what are they, account executive. executive. So you're now, an executive see, now. I should say that because it does sound very professional. Sounds nice. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Ms. Account Executive. Yes. Um, I know you're new to the bike business. Um, <laughs> tell everybody a little bit about your history for those who don't know okay. uh, in cycling. Um, well, I have actually attended Interbike since 1985. I was a BMX bike racer er, during the 80s, and uh, US uh, ABA Cycling would have a booth, and if you were a national champion, you would sign autographs there. So in 1985, I was national champion, and I got to sign autographs there. And, um, and in the 90s, I started racing mountain bikes, and I had a very uh, colorful career for 10 years doing that. And uh, I took the last 10 years off uh, with a clothing boutique I owned uh, with a good friend of mine and uh, closed that about a year ago. And now I'm here at Interbike, back in the bike business. Wow, awesome. So you have <laughs> absolutely no experience. 1985, you know, I was, I was, comparing, <laughs> I was comparing notes with, with a variety of different people, whether it was Tim Blumenthal <laughs> or with uh, John Burke about, you know, how long we've been. I've been, 1989 was my first Interbike. So, so I got you beat. You do. I'm you pretty stoked do. on that. Meanwhile, on the other end of the couch is the young person here in the crowd. Justin, tell us a little bit about how you arrived at Interbike, because this is your first year as well. It is, it is. I'm, uh, gosh, I think I'm three or four months into it, so I think I'm a little new, more uh, newer than you are. But um, uh, I got to Interbike, um, I've actually been in the bike industry uh, since, uh, oh gosh, I think about 95. Back in college, I worked in bike shops and yep. uh, raced bikes am on the amateur level um, for the University of Florida. And then I uh, got into the world of corporate uh, public relations uh, up in uh, New York City. Then uh, I actually got into the bike business um, uh, in sales with uh, American Bicycle Group, a company that owns Lightspeed, uh, Merlin, Quintana Roo, and Tomac at the time. Yeah. And was a sales rep for them for, uh, for several years. Uh, got promoted, went down to their uh, home office down in Chattanooga, Tennessee for, uh, for a few years. And uh, that was the, my most recent stint in, in the bike-specific world. Since nice. then, I've been in and out a little bit um, in different uh, capacities in sporting goods. And I have to clarify, they owned the Tomac company, not Johnny himself. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> just, just one Correct. Nobody <laughs> owns Johnny. <No. laughs> I used to sponsor him. Great point. <laughs> <laughs> great, Absolutely. great person yeah, too. He, Johnny's a great, great person. Guy. Totally agree. Sure. Justin, tell us what are some of the some of the, the the new things going on here. I know that there's there's been a lot of. Well, let's start with education, because a lot of people say that you know. Um, it's not just seeing the bling, the new bikes, the shiny stuff on the floor, but it's also helping retailers really up their game. What have been some of the, the great educational seminars that you've had here? Well, we've had several, and, and to your point, you know, we've had, uh, on, on some of the surveys that we've, uh, we've done in several ye in years past, you know, education continues to be one of the top reasons retailers come to Interbike. Uh, we've got some fantastic sessions that happen uh, literally every day from Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You know, one that we had yesterday of note, uh, we recently, uh, we partnered with one of our sister trade shows uh, called uh, Global Shop. Uh, this particular trade show happens every year in Chicago and really focuses on retail design uh, for all industries. And so we partnered with them and brought in uh, three of the top, uh, three representatives from some of the top uh, retail design firms in the country, companies like Little, uh, Gensler, uh, JGI, um, and we did. We had a panel discussion yesterday, right on the fashion show stage, uh, really just talking about uh, best practices in merchandising and and again in display design. And uh, it was standing room only, and nice. it was just a, a fantastic uh, seminar. Retailers were coming out of there, giving us uh, you know some praise for for that particular seminar. But really, we've heard a lot of great things about uh, the educational content 
over the over the course of the week. It's almost like there's not enough time, right? We have the two days of outdoor demo, which we're getting to in a moment. Um, then we've got the three days of indoor, <coughs> and during indoor, there's so much going on, yeah. right? I mean, Pat Hoos told us you've got more square footage sold this year, to your credit probably, uh, than, in, than ever in the past. And then you've got the educational seminars. It's yeah. tough, you know, retailers really need to drink a lot of coffee. It's a, yeah. you have to plan. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I was a retailer for 10 years. Yeah. And you know, I went to shows, big shows, Magic, Project, and it's like you have to go in with a game plan. If you come and you try to get your game plan on site, it's, uh, you're not going to get as much out of it. And that's why, you know, like we have our awesome app. It's easy to follow. It's easy to prep. And, um, and it's, uh, that's something like, you know, I've been just kind of sharing with people along the floor on the first day yeah. and people will come up to me and be like, oh my God, thank you so much for telling me that. Yeah. I can find everything I'm looking for. One retailer said to me, <coughs> I was talking, we were walking out of the hall the other day and a retailer said to me, if there's one thing I wish I had brought, it's a highlighter. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, you know, it seems sort of I've been using like one. common sense, <laughs> yeah. but it's true, right? Go through the show. If you don't have the app, go through the show directory. I need to go here or the map, and I need to go there. And so yeah. for planning purposes for next year, bring a highlighter. It Good is idea. nice to yeah. have. You need a hi you, what you need is a highlighter sponsor. That would be a great sell idea. There you that. go. I'll sell that. Absolutely. I will sell that next year. When you see the highlighters everywhere, you'll know I sold that. Let's talk about outdoor <laughs> demo. Um, when, so there was, there was some interesting things going on at Outdoor Demo. Number one, there were no bikes. There were so many people there, many booths. It was like they were constantly having people wait for bikes, which is great for the show, right? Um, <coughs> but you had something going on, a little bit of a challenge. Let's talk about that. Well, when I started at Interbike, uh, my, uh, my manager, Andrea Klinger, she was like, we got to do something fun at Outdoor Demo this year. And... Um, and so she's like, we're going to do a downhill challenge. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that is so cool. And she's like, and you're going to be the rider. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's not so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we came up with this downhill challenge. Uh, it was Beat Lee Donovan. And um, we partnered up with Innovative Timing Systems. And it was a chip system. So it wasn't like, you know, people could say, oh, no, that wasn't consistent right. or whatever. It was very accurate timing. And um, we had 201 attempts. And it was Amazing. Uh, Scott Bikes was the bike sponsor. Shimano came in with their new Z, and uh, Fox did the full suspension. Um, uh, Crank Brothers did the wheels. We had um, Traley Designs did the kit. Uh, 661 was the padding sponsorship. So we had tons of people that got involved. Yeah. Oakley, and then GoPro videoed it and made a killer video. And then at the end, all these people that made the, that did a, an attempt, they, the top three men and the top three won women won amazing prizes. Nice. And then everyone else was entered into a raffle. And oh my gosh, people were so pumped. And I got to ask you, I mean, how often do you ride? I mean, you've got a, a family <laughs> and a job. How often do you get the opportunity to ride? I, this year, I unfortunately haven't had the opportunity to ride. I um, tore my rotator cuff in oh, March. Sorry. And so it's been a kind of tough recovery yeah. for me. But um, I'm trying to ride a little bit, you know. I maybe get in a few road rides a week during lunch and um, downhilling. I don't downhill very often, yeah. but it was, um, you know, it's like downhilling is kind of like walking for me. It's like, it's pretty easy. Got it. Yeah. Nice. That's a great, great idea for an event. It was fun. Let's talk a little bit about numbers. I, I know you probably don't have the final mm. numbers in, but Justin, how's the show looking? It's, it's you know, I, I had a chance to look at some of the, uh, the pre preliminary numbers um, over the course of the last of, of the week. Outdoor demo uh, was up uh, significantly. Um, right now, it's looking like it's somewhere around 10%. Um, don't have the numbers for the for the for the actual show quite yet, but um, it is it is definitely trending towards uh, beating previous years. So, nice. I mean, the the buzz on the show floor has been that it's been a fantastic show. Um, I mean, you just see all the people out there. It's it's. I think it was really well attended and. Yeah, That's yeah, no doubt. Nice. And I heard that from from exhibitors as I went around and talked yeah. to your customers. They were telling me. <laughs> That, that they were busy, they were double, triple, quadruple booked in some cases. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm, I'm hearing really good things. We had, uh, when we, we, we did a show yesterday afternoon called The Spokesman, and we had a rep uh, who's one of our friends from QVP, and she was telling us how her dealer's business is up overall, just in general. So you know, we look at the economy and the way that it's trending. Dealer's business is up. That's good for the exhibitors as well, and I think that may be why we're seeing so many people here. I want to ask you though about, we talked about the show floor. On the ground level, 
is something called the lab. Tell everybody what the lab is, first of all. Uh, creating a lab is a, a place where we're trying to give the buyers the opportunity to see new product. Product that maybe hasn't been at the show before. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and so every time a new exhibitor comes into the show, they get placed into the lab. Right. And uh, last year was the first year we had it. And this year uh, we made significant improvements. The, it, it did grow significantly yeah. as well. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> every time I walk down there, it's really busy. And, and for people who maybe haven't made it down there yet, um, it, it's, I kind of think of it as like the incubator of the industry, right? It's people have great ideas, great new products, great, uh, great uh, thoughts that, that they want to move forward and it could be the future treks, the future you know, specialized of the world. And so people need to get down there. Give me an idea of a couple of companies that you that are down there that you think you know, well, people shouldn't miss. Well, Sony just came out with a new camera. I saw that. Yeah, and um, I think, you know, if you're looking at camera options, you know, I think that it's definitely a place to to check out. Okay. And their booth is pretty cool looking. I like how they have it set up. Yep. Um, uh, Life Proof came out with the uh, the immersed uh, camera, whatever, phone case yeah. in water. They have a cool thing that, uh, that we saw there. Um, so it's for your mm -hmm. iPad, and it's a case that goes around the iPad, but the screen itself is actually exposed, mm -hmm. and they put this thing in water. So you're actually, t you can touch the screen, and yet they immerse it in, I, I don't know, I asked them how they do it, you know what they said? They said it's magic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is magic. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it was. it's magic to me because yeah, I can't absolutely. do that. <laughs> Anybody else down there? Um, you know what? We have so many people downstairs. I think uh, no drip, uh, chain luber guy. I saw he that. He came out with demo, this, yeah. and the packaging's cool. And um, like when I saw him at outdoor demo, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put an order in for all my Christmas presents, and that's gonna be part of my you know packaging for all my Christmas presents for my friends. I don't, um, know, if, I don't know if my mom would want that for. for Christmas, well, but, you know. most of my friends ride bikes. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know, it's, um, I've been walking around and as a former retailer, again, like I've said before, it's, uh, it's an area where you can find things that aren't in every shop. And, um, you know, these are, these are people that have products that, you know, I know my clients always wanted something new, different. They didn't right. want to be on the same product that everybody else was having in there, you know. And so I think that is the case with the lab. The lab is really bringing you unique um, uh, opportunities to buy special items for your store that the ne your ne your next door neighbor does not have. Well put. Yeah. Excellent. What are the plans for next year? Uh, we're we're moving. The show is moving. Yeah, actually, we're really excited about it. It's um, you know an opportunity to do uh, to give us some flexibility to do some new things. The show is is going to be moving to Mandalay Bay. Yep. We've got a three year contract over there. Um, you know, it's going to, as I mentioned, it's going to give us the opportunity to do more things. We've got, uh, you know, the Sands has been great. It's, it's, a, it's a great uh, convention center. We're kind of limited in some of the things that we can do outside. So, you know, we'll have, um, you know, some parking lot space where we can do some, uh, some other events, things like that. There was once a criterion there. <laughs> yep, there was criteria, and, and there, there's lots of events like that that, yeah. we're, that we're thinking about putting on as awesome. well. Awesome, that's excellent. So, um, what about uh, the hotel options? Because um, it, it, <coughs> some people think, oh, it's it's all the way at the end of the strip. Good hotel options down there for the retailers? I mean, I, I drove around. First of all, there's a Whole Foods down there. And nice. I mean, if anyone <laughs> has any dietary issues like myself, I'm gluten-free. And eating in this hotel is very almost impossible. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> yeah, you can just walk over to Whole Foods and you can go outside and actually breathe air, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do. But there's, um, you know, there's a, I, there is a lot of hotel options. There's other stuff on the other side of the freeway. It's very accessible. It's not as congested as this area yeah. is. And um, I think that, uh, I think overall, I, I do think um, it's going to be a much better experience. Excellent. I do, yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> Excellent. Well, Justin Lee, thank you so much for joining thank us you. on Good Morning Interbike. Thank you. It's been fantastic having you on. Thank you. It's been a great, Five days, because I can't say just three, well, right? Six. Yeah. Today's my sixth day. <laughs> it's been it's been a great show. <laughs> We're looking forward to 2013. Thanks for joining Likewise. us on Good Morning Interbike. Really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. And we will be back in just a couple of minutes with the folks from Nike. And if you don't know what that is, you're going to want to find out in a few minutes. So join us back here at interbike.com/live.